Hi guys and welcome back to another video on Nathan's Golf. Today we are picking up from where we left off after lockdown and we've got a challenge series. I'm so far three down. Today the opponent I'm playing is a 14 handicap. So he's still a little bit better than me but we're playing at my home track at Elford Lee and he's traveled down today. So let's get across to Elford Lee and say hello. If you don't already, get on that. Right, so we're here with Sean. How are we doing? Not bad, mate. And we're going to go through his bag and see what he's packing. It looks like he's packing some heat here. Right, it's top of the bag. TS3. TS3. Five degrees, hazardous dish draft. And then it just goes like a rocket when you get it straight. Same with the three wood. The three wood matching. Yeah, beautiful. Matching shafts. Well, lovely clubs, aren't they? Then? Yes. Sure. Yeah. when you connect, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, so your two iron UDI tailor made. Again, when you get that, it's just a beautiful club. It's a lot of people's dream club, there, isn't it? Yeah. It's lovely. And now, my favourite part of your bag, your irons. Yeah. They are just wonderful. I've got the Art Walker RS10s, and uh, the muscle back, apart from the forearm, which is the cavity back. They just feel fantastic. Um, not the longest gloves, but yeah, just absolutely wonderful when you hit them right. Give you that feel. Yeah, certainly can. They give you a shade ability, but I'm 14, I don't have much of that. <laughs> <laughs> right, and your wedges as well. Yeah, 54 and a 58 and the SM8. Again. Is that because the uh, pitching wedge isn't as strong a loft? So you... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 48 degrees, I had a 50 degree wedge, but I took it out of the bag as soon as I realised it was 48. Yeah. So yeah the wedges are just fantastic. So a, lot, so consistent. a lot of people do that, they kind of take away the 50 and then have just play like a knockdown pitch and wedge. Exactly. Yeah. Not my strong point. Though. No, <laughs> we'll soon see in a bit. <laughs> and your putter. Yeah, just the Odyssey double wide. Straight lap. Oh, that's Again, nice. One of the softest feeling putters. Yeah. I really enjoy it. I am a fan of Odyssey. It's quite forgiving as well because my miss off the putter is to swing quite fast and get off the toe. <laughs> so, you might see it in the uh, in the vlog. <laughs> Definitely, pal. Well, and what are you playing off at the minute, mate? Fourteen. Fourteen. 14 so, nine. so I'm off. I'm off of fifteen. So I get one shot, which will be on the fifteen quite easily. But um, you playing quite well at the minute? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Talk to us. <laughs> uh, the last full eighteen I did, I think I shot about an eighty-nine. Oh, um, so that's, that's not bad. Though. That's not yeah, bad. It's just the lingering memory of an eight on the last so. <laughs> Um, well, we well, went out for a quick nine with a couple of mates from work and shot four over on that, so I'm hoping that form transpires to today rather than the eight oh. on the last. What? Four over? Well, I've shot two over on the front before. I'm in uh, trouble. I, <laughs> but it's all about what, what, it, what happens in the day. So we're going to get across to the first tee. Our tee off time is in about eight minutes. And we're going to play the front nine here at Elford Lee. It's looking an absolute picture today, as always. As a newbie, it does look fantastic. Yeah. I can't see a lot of the course, but it looks like there's a lot of trees. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell them the tees in the wrong area as well. So. <laughs> I've, I've lost three now at my uh, first three challenge series, so I need to get a win somehow, so I might just have to cheat a little bit. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Right, let's get that to the first tee, guys. Oh, that's beautiful, mate. So both with birdie putts on the first. I think it might be me because I'm off the green, but if you're ready, mate, I'll let you play. Oh, 
Oh, that's short, mate. <laughs> I'll let you mark it. I'll come in. So, two very average putts there for us. <laughs> I'll give us average <laughs> if, if we make par. <laughs> We won't, <laughs> we won't say that they were um, bogeys, we'll just say we're all square. <laughs> hit some nice tee shots, well okay tee shots. You hit a good tee shot, very good tee shot. But um, approach play, really good. Just putting's a bit rubbish. <laughs> so, smiles on the first. So over to the second now and it's a par three my hole in one hole hopefully uh you won't replicate that <laughs> if it does i'll be pretty happy pretty happy to catch a hole in one so let's go <laughs> definitely i think it'd be like the first vlogging hole in one i think no one's actually got a vlogging hole in one on youtube oh. let's be the first So Sean's just been on the path there. He's just taking relief. So he's got a nice little shot up here, actually. Oh, left himself a little bit of work. I thinned mine, but I'm just at the back here. So hopefully I can chip it close. Put some pressure on. Right, couple par putts. No one wants to win a hole today, do they? <laughs> so another two bogeys there. We're not playing bad, I don't think. Just the greens at the end. Yeah, a putting could be a little bit better, but uh, we haven't three putted yet. Oh, wait. Nah, I'm not counting mine as a three putt. It was on the fringe. <laughs> yeah. But now onto the third hole, which is quite a testing hole. Uh, dog left. Oh my God, where the... <laughs> That's going to be perfect, mate. So I found a little bit of trouble when I bought the top and we couldn't find it. So I've taken a penalty and I've got this for double, but I don't really want to putt it because he's going for par. <laughs> Paid a whole well. Good par, buddy. One up. Well, one down for me. So, fifth hole, I'm currently two down. You're playing well, aren't you? Yeah, all right. <laughs> He's loving it. <laughs> Big smile, as you can tell. <laughs> so, so it's, uh, he's playing quite well. You've just come par bogey, didn't you? And you've bogeyed yeah. the first two. 
Yes, I didn't play that hole too well, but from my tee off, you see a massive top, did well to get there <laughs> in the end. So now we've got a, well, 240 yard par four, straight over those trees if you're brave, or just a simple knock down to be safe. And I think we're both gonna be safe here and go just in front of the bunkers. Nice little seven iron. We are, so Sean's found green in reg here. He's got a birdie putt. I had to knock out those trees and I caught a few of them. So I'm now going for par. So let's see if I can make my par and hopefully put a bit of pressure on in there. Take that away, mate. Three down. Oh. Playing well. Playing well. <laughs> Got a couple of tires in there. That's what's made the difference, really. Definitely. Me well. So, par three, sixth. 147 yards, was it? Yeah, 147. 147. He's three up with four to play. Just needs to hold on. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> awesome. Right, so in typical Nathan fashion, I forgot that I had a shot on the second. So I'd have actually won that hole because we both bogeyed it. So I'm actually only two down and you're having a bit of, well, my tree troubles at the minute, aren't you? A little bit, <laughs> I think that's a lost ball. <laughs> so he's gone down there. We'll go have a little look for it. Cause it, you never know. I've, I've been down there quite a bit, mate. So uh, I've got a little hut down there and everything. <laughs> and then your second one's just right. I've luckily thinned mine pin high. Well, I did say I was gonna hit an eight to be middle of the green, so. Good thing I thinned it. <laughs> so we're gonna try to find this ball down there and then we'll get putt in. Hopefully I can put it to one down with three to play. And they are, uh, I think the next two holes are probably the hardest holes, I think, at Alfred Lee on the front nine. He'll soon see the next hole and how uh, small it looks. Looking forward to it? Absolutely. <laughs> right up there. Here we go. Right, so we found his first. So Sean's got up there for his bogey putt. Now in the trees, bumped out and bumped out there. So he's got a chance for bo bogey and I've got a birdie putt. Come on Nathan, don't bloody free putt this. Here we go, so this could be a good pressure putt here. If this goes in, I'd need to sink my next one. Casual par. Seventh hole. Look at this. Down there. Over the bank, it's a little flat plateau, and then big dip before the green, which is protected by a bunker to the front and to the left, and a big slope off to the left. Out of bounds right. 
penalty area left. <laughs> so at the minute I am one down after firing that one. Little fight back. I'm actually out of breath walking up that hill to be honest. But we're gonna put two bombs straight down the middle there. Are you feeling it? I'm feeling a seven iron, not a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's get on it and uh, even a seven iron that'll probably still leave you 150, 160 in. Smart play. So Sean's fourth there, we found his first ball. Unfortunately, we didn't find my first ball, so I played my provisional. So I'm going five, I've got bogey, he's got par. So let's see if he can get some near close. <laughs> Bit of work, isn't it? But rather that from where I am. We're now playing the same shots, aren't we? Right, so this is for to go two up with two to play. Dormy two. Eighth and ninth. We've got a long par four. Um, uphill all the way, probably about 420, I'm guessing. Oh, it's a long way. And then the ninth hole is all downhill, par four, which is probably gettable with a driver in one, if you're lucky. I might have to play that by then, we'll have a look. But if Sean wins this hole, come away victorious. Relax and hold back. <laughs> then we can relax. <laughs> just hit my approach there for par give it to me anyway but I'll pull it there we are now he's got this for the half which would would win it for you mate just yeah just got to be confident with it really I mean yeah very hard part here Good effort. Dormy one. Yeah, so I had that for a four. Fortunately, yours went out of bounds first. So that brings us to a little cute par three for a playoff hole. First time ever on the challenge. Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> All smiles here though, all smiles. So, 10th hole. I've got it as 110 to the front, 124-ish to the pin.
stream runs here, bunker in front, slopes off to the left. First playoff hole in the challenge series. Should we do a tee for it or do you want to go first or? Oh, we flip we'll flip for it, go on then. I'll go something about France. It's all about, uh, it's got a 20 on it. Up yeah. to you, mate. What do you want? I'll get a dart in first. You'll get a dart in first. He's going to apply the pressure. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Here they are, just on the green, just on, lengthy little parts. I'm gonna say we shouldn't do more than two putt them, but look back to the first hole. Right, so it is literally a putt off. I think it's just out of gimme range. <laughs> you can have that, mate. <laughs> right, so. On to the 11. Second playoff hole. This is a tough hole. So here we have it. The hardest par three at Elford Lee. Waterfront two bunkers and a very very narrow green long green but narrow and the green is on three platforms so you got top middle lower out of bounds to the right and then left you can go there's a guy down there actually well, if I can zoom in a little bit there you are so you can go down there but you don't want to <laughs> nice hole in it lovely yeah ah. <laughs> after you, yeah, after you've parred it, it's all right. Well, this is one hole that normally when I'm putting a good score together, a bogey's all right. <laughs> but it all depends on... We're going to do a flip as well for the first. I think we'll have to do a flip for who goes first. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for the France side again. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I've got it. Uh, you can go first, mate, actually. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. But we've picked a hell of a day to play this one. Hell of a day. Worth the uh, journey down? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, our, that's our friend down there, Paul. Is he in a little bit of trouble or not? You in a little bit of trouble? So he's just hit a lovely shot into there. Now I was just back edge and I've opted to chip it. But I've gone a bit strong, probably landed about up here, but gone to the back of the green. So I've got a nasty downhill putt to save par. I think two putts here will secure the win for him there. I'll, I'll let you come up, buddy. It's a par putt, I'll let you putt it. I'll let you putt it. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> oh, well, two putt, I might be able to scramble something. Yeah, good par, mate, good par. So I've got mine now to secure it. 
pressure. Well played, mate. Time shot. Unlucky. Very well played, mate. Very well played. Enjoyable. I'm happy it extended to the 11th or 12th, to be fair. 12, yeah, 12th. No, 11th hole. 11th hole. But good game. It's been a very good game, mate. A very good shots. game. Bad shots. All in all, good golf. Good golf. Well, at a minute, I'm nine over. What are you, six over? Yeah, so a couple shots in it, but played very well, especially at last hole. Oh, with that. So that is the match. Two playoff holes. I nearly won my first one, but I've come away defeated. And Sean has outplayed me today. It's played... been great. The course is amazing as well. Yeah, it is absolutely beautiful here at Elford Lee. I mean, anyone wants to come down here, give us a shout. I'll definitely recommend it. Yeah, lovely course. 100%. Well, cheers for coming down, mate. I hope you've enjoyed the. Uh, the game I enjoyed, everything enjoyed the drive relax and enjoyed the game and i'll go back smiling yeah <laughs> nice pint after this exactly let's cut to the pints